Hi, I'm Ray Grijalva. And I'm Anne Marie Grijalva. And I'm Jane Hughes. And, and this, this is, is the Joy, Joy of, of the Faith. faith. In this Spotlight episode, we have Jane here, who's going to answer our three classic questions before she moves to Florida. So Jane, question number one, how do we meet? So Ray and I work together, and I just moved here to Lexington a year ago, not knowing anybody. So I reached out to Ray, and we talked when I first got to work, and he was like, hey Jane, like my wife's in this great Christian group. Which like he just said Christian, not Catholic, because he like wasn't sure what represent what <laughs> a proud Catholic here. <laughs> so I was like, all right, like Christian group, I can get behind that. So I uh, I went, and it was a Catholic group that was like awesome. So so Amory called the she. Oh, I, I'm on my way back from my men's group, and I call Amory, and Amory's like, Ray, did you know Jane was Catholic? And I was like, no. And she's one of seven kids? And I was like, no, that's <laughs> awesome, because I'm one of seven kids. Yeah. And I'm Catholic, which hopefully you know by the show. But, <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty cool. So super cool way that we met. Um, it's funny, actually. So we're in our house, and like our garage is right over there. And I remember talking to Jane when she was in Philadelphia, calling to see how the Lexington site would be, because I kind of recruited her here. And I was like, we have a super awesome young adult community. Yeah. So, you've got to be a part of it. It's yeah. been pretty fun, hasn't it? It's been awesome. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I love it. So, Amory, do you want to ask uh, yeah. a second question? So, what have you learned from the joy of the faith or us? So, living in community, I would say, is what I've learned from you guys. What's community? <laughs> <laughs> like, living your faith out in community versus just, like, internalizing it and making it your own personal thing. Yeah. It's, like, mm-hmm. super important. Definitely. So yeah, we've uh, we've gotten together quite a lot, huh? Yeah. Definitely. Jane's like in our classic group of people that like we just get together like last minute. It's like, hey, Jane, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm up for whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So and John, who's been on our previous episodes and other people that you see, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun like getting together and and building that community. So that's been uh, a lot of fun. What do you think has been like the greatest memory of Lexington community awesomeness? Oh, that's a tough question. Game nights have been. Fun. Oh yeah? yeah? What are game nights? Get, so we go to mass and then we go we have dinner at Chipotle or something like that and then we have a game night and it always gets a little crazy. We usually play like a taboo or game or something like that. Or mafia. Or mafia. <laughs> and people get killed or card several games. times. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's always fun. Yeah. That's great. Well that's awesome. Maybe a rosary, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. We always try to get a rosary in there. But yeah, it's been awesome building the community on a on a small level. So yeah. Um, and then our final question is, what do you want people to know? So what I really like about being Catholic is the structure of our faith. It, mm-hmm. it holds us accountable when we don't really want to be accountable. Like you say like, oh, I don't feel like going to mass. Mm-hmm. But like, if you don't go to mass, there's like other stuff you have to do because of that. And then you're like, I guess I'll go to mass. <laughs> <laughs> and then who knows? Like. The Holy Spirit might work through the priest that week and hear the message you need to hear. Well, Jane, that was awesome. Quite the engineer thing to say. (laughs) I always tell people in different videos that I love Catholicism because of, like, the structure and stuff. And I like seeing how processes work. And we totally see that in church. So I I never guess, I guess I never thought about it like that, where, like, if you don't go to Mass, then there's kind of other things. So it's, like, it's cool how it kind of, like, is built upon it. Because, like, you miss Mass, then you, you go to Confession. Right, so it like keeps you. Although confession mm-hmm. isn't like a bad thing, awesome. right? Confession's yeah. awesome, but at the same time, it's like ah, I grow in holiness mm-hmm. by potentially hearing something awesome at mass. So yeah, what are my priorities? Yeah, Jesus. Right? Well, Jane, are you glad you moved to Kentucky? Oh yeah, definitely. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? It's been awesome. I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, we're gonna miss we're you. We're gonna miss you too. We're like, what are you gonna do when Jane leaves? <laughs> but we're actually going to visit her, so yeah, that'll be awesome. They already booked the plane. <laughs> I know, I first know. Visitors. <laughs> exactly, first visitors. Exactly, first visitors. Before she even moved out, I already booked our flight. That's what true friends are, I guess. <laughs> sure. So, everyone, I hope you enjoy this video. Have an amazing day, and God love you.